Hello beer fans, welcome to Andy's Beer News, where the beer today is this one from Red Rock Brewing down in Devon. This is their Miami Vice, which is a wheat beer, coming at 4.8% ABV. Um, I like the name, if you saw the unboxing, I just think it's a, I just think it's a really clever name for a beer. Uh, if it's really clever, then it's probably not unique. There'll be lots of Miami Vice beers out there, I, I'm sure. Let's crack it open. Let's see what this baby's like, shall we? Opened and into a glass. So we're expecting the normal stuff. Although it's interesting, I had that lager and that had a little um, bit... Um, little banana flavour to it so I don't know if it's a brewer that takes tradition and modernises beers so I presume this is going to be a, a wheat but it calls itself an American wheat beer so I presume it's going to be a wheaty beer with some banana and clothes spices those sorts of things but we'll see being a glass a slightly hazy amber colour with a lovely white head really creamy lovely white head again very very fine carbonation happening in that glass so if it's gonna show that let's get it over shall we mm, this could be a wee bit with a little twist it's really fruity There's the banana in there, but the banana's in the background. It's, there's some citrus coming through before that. It smells like pineapple juice. Pineapple juice, then just a little bit of um, banana after that. Smells interesting. Right, let's taste it. Cheers, everybody. It is slightly different, but it's nice as well actually. It's very, it's fruity on the aroma, fruity in the flavour as well. So flavour wise, you've got the, the wheat in there and then you've got, um, again it's like a pineapple juice in there and then the pineapple juice disappears. Pineapple juice disappears, you get a little wheat, traditional wheat beer that we all know and love come into it, then that disappears and that f almost like a zesty citrus kind of is left in your mouth. And that bitterness from that zestiness continues. This has been the fridge, it's um, down to a nice temperature again. I just can't see what temperature it says, it says on that fridge. Um, but in the ale house, it is 28.4 degrees. So it needs something to cool me down. So really, like I say, it's, um, zesty citrus up front, a bit of pineapple, then the wheat beer takes over, so a little bit of banana, not a lot, a little bit of banana, then the spiciness coming through, then a little almost like a zesty um, citrus at the back end as well. So you get the citrus kind of both sides of the the um, the wheat beer. But it is really, really refreshing. It is really, really smooth. Really tasty. 
Let's have a look. Ah, so, so I didn't read about Red Rock Brewery before. So, uh, brewed in Devon, family take, so it's, so it's family business, uh, take care of pride producing high quality artisan ales and lagers using the finest uh, natural whole ingredients and pure Devon spring water. Although our backbone stems from traditional English ales, at Red Rock Brewery we take inspiration from beers all over the world with a view to producing the most sensational, classic and contemporary adaptations of our very own. Our imagination is our innovation. So yeah, I was right with the uh, lager and banana flavour and kind of this and the heavy citrus in this is they are taking those classic um, beers, tastes, styles and just doing a little kind of contemporary little modern twist on it and I like it, it works for me. Don't hate up if you're a purist. But I just um, like drinking beers, like trying other styles and I can score a beer against a style um, guidelines I suppose, I suppose they are just guidelines aren't they, but I just like to, um, where I can, review against the beer in front of me and how it tastes. This is really good, I like this, very citrusy, got a little bit of wheat beer right in the middle of it, lovely gentle, like zesty bitterness at the back end, smooth, really tasty, works for me, this is um, eight and a half out of ten. It's an eight and a half out of ten from Andy's Beer Views. Comment, like, and subscribe. Have you guys had anything from this brewery? If so, which beer should be looking out for? Uh, I think I've probably got most of them in, in the box. The box was gifted to me by a colleague at work. Cheers again, Adrian. Um, but yeah, any beers I should be particularly look, looking out for. Uh, this week I want to do the uh, Amber Ale. Light Amber Ale. Light Amber Ale. Um, so that'll be another one I'll be trying. Uh, yeah, if you have an experience, let me know which ones you look forward to, uh, which, uh, which ones you like and which ones you look forward to me reviewing. Um, thanks for watching, really do appreciate it. Until next time, everybody, enjoy your beers. Cheers.